Hey everyone, Austin here, aka Mr. Freeze on the Crackberry Forums. Um, before we get started, I want to apologize in advance for any terrible camera work or audio. Um, I'm in the process of moving, all my gear is kind of packed away and in boxes, and so I was able to grab the camera out, find a white table to f pop up, and uh, kind of record this um, quickly. So I kind of have to hold the camera with my hand and also do kind of some of the shooting on the device at the same time. But let's get into it here. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the pointer mode feature that's been discovered on certain variants of the BlackBerry Priv OS images. Uh, this feature is a beta feature that was first discovered in the developer options of the Verizon variant of the Priv. Um, the feature allows the keyboard on the Priv to act like a mouse or a touchpad. You can move a circle around, click on things, just like a computer mouse. Uh, Thurask discovered that there was a branch of the Verizon OS that was meant for Korean markets, but it was um, meant for common devices. So basically any device other than AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon, this OS image would work on. Verizon already has this feature built into its build of the OS. So there, if you're on a Verizon phone, just enable developer options and follow through. You don't have to auto-load the device. If you have a factory unlocked or any other variant, I believe this should work fine on yours. Use at your own risk. Um, that being said. So this device is an STV100-1. Uh, it's purchased directly from shopblackberry.com. Uh, and um, we can go ahead and get in on it. So this uh, first thing you need to do is you need to auto load this device. I can link that in the Crackberry forum post I'm going to put this video on um, and you will it will wipe the device entirely so be warned you have any data that's you know uh, critical to you on that device it's gone if you use the auto loader also you could brick your device I doubt that it would happen but you know it's possible um, so everything is use at your own risk and if you don't feel like you want to mess with reloading, backing things up, putting things back on, setting everything back up. I do not suggest doing this, but um, you can kind of look at what's going on here. I'm guessing, I don't know, but I'm guessing that maybe this will come as a feature on uh, the um, Nougat uh, version of Android. Um, maybe a standard feature on the, the Mercury, who knows. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think it would be a neat feature to add in. Um, something kind of unique for BlackBerry to have on their devices. Okay, so this device is already auto-loaded. Um, I'm not going to go through all those steps. If you need help doing that, um, there's other resources on CrackBerry that you can look it up. Uh, and we'll get into it here. So I'll show you. This one already has the developer options set, um, but I'll kind of show it to you. I apologize if the picture's a little washed out or anything. Um, trying to get the brightness and stuff set and record it from a distance so you can see the keyboard and the and the screen. So you uh, swipe down, go into settings, go all the way down to the about phone, go to the build number, double tap it 10 times, uh, it unlocks the uh, developer mode. Uh, this one's already undone so I don't need to do that. And then developer options, I'm just going to kind of bring the camera down here, is right here above the about. I hit that. And then you can kind of see, if I scroll down, let's see here, under input, um, there's a couple new options. Uh, you got pointer location, pointer mode, and then you can use the uh, point, the mute key or currency key for pointer, to enable pointer mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on pointer mode, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the mute key just to make it convenient for turning this feature on. And we can close out. Now, right now, uh, let's find somewhere I can, I don't really have much on here. Uh, this device is freshly loaded, so um, let's see. Actually, we'll just go into the settings here. Oh, gosh. Go away. Settings. Okay. You can see the keyboard right now is used to, to scroll up and down. Um, but... If I hit that mute key, which is the button here on the side, it also has an option for convenience key. Uh, but now you can see this little mouse. 
See that? Run around the screen, I'm up by the clock, and I go down by contact calendar. If I click on the keyboard, so I just double tap, uh, it actually clicks on things. So like here, I can allow that, I can allow that, and that's basically it. Um, it's basically what this feature does. I think it's a pretty great feature if you were doing one-handed use of the device. Um, here, we can bring it down here. It even comes down over the buttons here, and you can hit that. I can close out of settings. It's basically doing the input of the finger touches on the screen, but moving it around uh, with the mouse. So that's basically it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, hit us up in the the um, Crackberry forums, uh, and we'll try and answer what we can.